This is an empty garage. We finally drop off the 4410 at CT Raceworks where Alex and Michael go through my wish list and our reality list. We've got some more sponsor packages showing up. So follow along as we do some unboxing and maybe get some of the stuff on the actual race car. We are off to CT Raceworks. They've been a partner with our race team for the past five or six years, but I've been a customer of theirs for probably 13 years. Alex at CT Raceworks was one of the shops that helped me with the original build of the 4550 mall crawling race Jeep, which actually is still the only car I've gotten to the finish line at King of the Hammers. So their support is top shelf, their fabrication is top shelf, and their customer service has been awesome. Mostly I say that because they've successfully figured out a way to deal with me. We're gonna go through a couple of lists. The need to list, the items that need to be addressed on the 4410, and the want to list. These are gonna be the items that I want to upgrade or take care of, and we will see if budget allows. We're here at CT Raceworks. Good to see you, there, man. Alex. Good to see you guys. Hey, so it's gonna be a little bit of different prep this time around. The first thing is my poor co-driver has ridden every race in this car with his hands either like a corpse or in his lap. I love the idea of like a side-by-side, -side, you know, grab handle. Like on the side-by-side, -side, we just use like a bicycle dropper post. That way you can squeeze the handle like would be on the handlebars and you can just shove it in so he can jump out and get out of the car. I've got the radio and the intercom up here and the rear view camera down there. Rugged sent us a, um, they sent a bracket that mounts the radio and the intercom together. I want to swap, I want the radio and intercom down there where the screen is and the screen right there. The gauges work perfectly, except for they don't light up right. Pretty sure that analog, those older style, not but non-digital, I'm pretty sure there's still bolts in the back. For 450 to replace all of them, plus your labor of installing them. Right. If you can say, hey, for 100 bucks, they're all working with new bulbs or whatever, right. yeah. we'll probably do that. If that's not the case, you just tell me what size and I'll Amazon them, I'll overnight them. You know what I mean? But, uh, Rugged sent a new pumper. It's a half the size of this one with the magnetic mount hoses. CV axle shaft. So you're gonna have to take that apart to find well, out what that is. See exactly which one it is. I may be able to pop the boots off of the one that is definitely RCV and get a number. Okay. But the biggest thing is we need to, there's, it's available in three different inner spots. Last thing is the brake line. In the last race we ripped off the brake line in qualifying. But if you guys wanna run shorter. Just, yeah, just yeah, let yeah, me know. Shorter line. Absolutely. Shorter That's is. easy enough. Yeah, I figured. That's, That's probably enough. the least expensive thing on the whole project. Correct. Alan, hey, what's up, man? Hey, how you doing? Good. I saw it was you calling. I actually pulled over on the side of the road because I've been anticipating this conversation. As we've discussed before, we're going to Vegas to Reno. We've worked with you guys on King of the Hammers and the Mint 400, and we've raced with you guys on the Ultra 4 E-Series, but we've never done anything like this. That's awesome. You, you, you've been killing it. You and the team and the wife have been doing an amazing job. Yeah, you've definitely been working out partnering with us ever since i've been here we got you guys on the race car you're all, you're going to be on our swag you know we're, we're doing a feat one of our vlogs was going to be essentially centered around race line you know what else do you guys like to see outside of you know race day we'd like for you guys to be happy yeah everything you've done so far has been great just, just be you be be jay i know you we've always supported the everyday person and all the hard work coming through just you keep doing what you're doing and everything will take care of itself what an awesome conversation with raceline wheels you know i try and showcase some of the conversations that people typically don't get to see it's the people working behind the scenes supporting the drivers and the teams out there that really make the difference and that's that's a big reason why again i'm i'm so honored to be a part of team raceline now we just gotta wait on the ups guy
my next task is going to be replacing all of our pre-runner wheels with the new race line. 32 bolts per wheel. Your next task? This is my next task because you don't like to get your hands dirty. That, well, okay, so you may have a point there. A few moments later. Babe, these, these are still the old wheels. I didn't get to them. You, you were supposed to zip zap these and get the race lines on. Well, maybe if you join us next week, I'll get to them. Apparently next week's episode, we'll have the tires on the race line wheels. In our next episode, we're going to introduce my co-driver and do a deep dive with him on what it's going to take for this whole campaign to be a success. We'll see.